my name is Kia Lur, and for my PACE project, I decided to focus it on Hmong women in higher education. As a Hmong woman myself, it was a really important topic and also a really personal project. For the entire project, I worked with Jennifer and Judy, who are also Penn GSC students, and we are the three, the only three Hmong women at Penn GSC. The three of us are the first in our families to enter into a master's program and who will be graduating with master's degree. We took the opportunity to really explore this issue, an issue that is really important in our lives, but it's missing in a lot of aspects of higher education. The project um, really looks at three different oppressions. Um, looking at the gender oppression that comes with being among women, um, looking at the nationality and the ethnicity um, component of being hung, and then what does that mean uh, in terms of like education attainment. Specifically for me in this project, I wanted to uh, take the time to really reflect on my growth over the years of being you know, from K through my master's degree, and also to look at the barriers and the challenges of what it means to be a Hmong American educated women who come from a very high poverty background, but is really high achieving. For my project, we took an auto-ethnographic approach to looking at the Hmong women experience. It uses principles of autobiographies in which we all wrote our autobiographies and then using concepts and principles of ethnography. How do we look at the bigger phenomenon, the cultural phenomenon of what is happening within that space and for that culture and for that community. We decided to present our project at a national conference and the national conference that we decided to present at is called APAHI the Asian Pacific American in Higher Education Conference. And the conference is actually right here uh, in Oakland, California. And we did our presentation this morning on April 8th at 11 o'clock this morning. And our presentation addressed everything from the inception of the project to our findings in the literature, to our autobiographies, all the way to the discussions that we wanna have and the discussions that we um, hope to have with this paper and this project. One of the things that I learned through presenting and through this project is how important it is to tell our stories and how important it is to share those stories with Native Hmong people and non-Native Hmong people and to recognize that it is a problem and that we really need to also add that when we talk about race and oppression and sexism and um, misogyny and all of those things that the Hmong women narrative is being missed out in all of those narratives. And so um, that's been a really important learning experience for me is to just share my story.